these scholars now we move on to the very important part that is why to have strategy this is a very very important question that why do organizations need to have strategy there is a very interesting opinion that organizations can be equally successful without strategy if with strategy in this particular videos we'll be talking about that why organizations need to have strategy not only this we'll also be having two views on that that what is the merit of having strategy and what is the demerit the first reason of having strategy is that that strategy sets direction the organizations get the direction if they have strategy if they don't have strategy they don't have any direction and if they if you 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 can really understand this phenomena that if you don't have a direction for example early in the morning if you get up and you don't have any direction you don't have anything in your mind at where to go no doubt if you just come out of the home you will reach somewhere but you never know your ending will be pleasant or unpleasant so the first benefit of having strategy is this that you get a direction and what is the benefit of having direction that the main role of strategy is to chart the course of an organization in order for it to sail cohesively through its environment then the first advantage is if you have an have a direction you can well deal with your environment which is ever changing and when you can well deal with your ever changing environment you can certainly safely reach to your destination otherwise without having direction you can have a trouble but having a direction also has got a downside it has got a demerit and what is it strategic direction can also serve as a set of blinders to hide potential dangers normally when you have got when you have got a direction though it provides you some comfort but it also serves as a blinder when you have a direction you simply go into that direction and while going to that direction you may miss the opportunities which are arising here and there somebody has argued that the collision of titanic with the iceberg was because it was following a direction and in following that direction they could not notice the appearance of the iceberg and this strict following of the direction ultimately resulted into the disaster and the damage the rather the great accident of titanic now we move on to the second reason strategy focuses efforts it is argued that if the organizations have got strategies they can have the focused and coordinated efforts but if they don't have strategy their efforts will be unfocused and you all know that and it is also shown in the history history of the successful organizations or the successful persons that they all had a focus and their focus provided them the optimum utilization of their resources and ultimately they achieved the success they aimed at so having the focused efforts there is a merit and there is also a demerit what is the merit the strategy promotes coordination of activity without strategy to focus efforts chaos can ensue as people pull in a variety of different directions when you don't have the focus people can move into the different directions and resultantly the organization fails to achieve its objectives but there is also a demerit to it group think arises when effort is too carefully focused rather there is no individual thinking everybody is thinking in the one direction focused on one thing there may be no peripheral vision to open other possibilities as i mentioned a given strategy can become too heavily embedded in the fabric of the organization rather mean the same problem you have in having the direction you have in having the focused efforts that there is a possibility you can miss a number of opportunities the third reason of having strategy is the strategy defines the organization 
I repeat, the strategy defines the organization. It's very, very important point to understand. Actually, you know that and conventionally or in the, in the, in the undergraduate course, you have heard that the strategy has got different components. For example, strategy includes the vision, the mission, the objectives, and the strategic choices of an organization. Actually, vision, mission, objectives, and strategic choices, they ultimately define an organization. So if you have a strategy, you have a definition of the organization. And this definition of the organization gives the reason to its members, its stakeholders to collectively own the organization and to work for it. So if you don't have a strategy, you don't have a definition of your organization. If you don't have a definition, it means there would be no reason for the people to collectively work for the organization. There is a merit to it. Strategy provides people with a shorthand way to understand their organization and to distinguish it from others. So through strategy, you can understand your organization and you can also distinguish it from others. Strategy provides meaning plus a convenient way to comprehend what the organization does. So if you don't have strategy, there would be no common understanding. But this thing also has got a demerit. To define an organization too sharply may also mean define it too simply. When you sharply define the organization, you define it simply. Actually, organizations are not simple. Sometimes to the point of stereotyping so that the rich complexity of the system is lost. Remember, dear scholars, that organizations may be defined simply, but actually these are not simple. These are the complex creatures. And when you miss the, this complexity aspect, you may miss to manage the organization in the proper way. Now, the fourth and the last reason why do organizations have strategy? Strategy provides consistency. Actually, for being consistent, you need to have a focus and direction and a definition. And earlier three points provided that strategy provides direction, focus, and it also provides very important thing and that is definition. If these three things are available, then strategy provides the consistency. And consistency is also important for the success of the organization. There's a merit to it. Strategy is needed to reduce ambiguity. It reduces the ambiguity and provide order. When you have strategy, there is an order. There is no ambiguity. In this sense, a strategy is like a theory, a cognitive structure to simplify and explain the world and thereby facilitate action. So remember that the strategy is the theory of the organization, which provides the understanding to it. It reduces the ambiguity. But this is, there is also a demerit attached to it. That when you are too much consistent in pursuit of something, you miss very important thing. And that is the creativity. Because creativity thrives on inconsistency by finding new combinations of hitherto separate phenomena. If you are consistent, again, you cannot be creative to that level and you may miss many opportunities. Thank you very much.